Now, we're talking about buying art from our friends from uh, Old Lime here. And uh, if you could just do it again, identify yourself, and then we'll talk about buying art, right? Uh, I'm Jeff Cooley, and this is Betsy Cooley. I see. And tell me about, where does this buying art thing come from? Why? Well, the specific t-shirt comes from an exhibition that we were just in a couple weeks ago in Philadelphia at U.S. Artists, an American art show uh, that happens annually down in Philadelphia for the benefit of the Pennsylvania Academy. Very good. Are you related to the Pennsylvania Academy? No. For some reason, have, just figurative art? Gallery figurative gallery art. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, uh, I had the idea that uh, if I gave you $100 and told you to, to buy, or asked you to buy a piece of art for me, how would you do that? Could you do that? That's a wonderful question. I probably could. It might take a little extra time, because there's no question that in a lot of cases, the more you spend... The, the easier it is, in a sense. Okay, but then let me let me amplify it. How about a thousand dollars? Thousand dollars. We've got some wonderful things in the gallery for a thousand dollars. Absolutely. Now, what are you going to do if I go to ten thousand? Uh, we've got great things for ten thousand um, dollars. <laughs> but I'm not talking about. I'm talking about you buying you ten thousand. Now you're going to put ten thousand on the table, and you're going to end up with a piece of art. Right. Where would I go? If I didn't go to my own gallery, <laughs> you already own them. <laughs> I guess it's what you, I suppose. It, if you had somebody that, that would buy it for twenty, you could you, you could buy something for ten. Yeah, exactly. So maybe that's the answer: is that the hundred dollars? If you had somebody who'd pay two hundred for it, you could buy it for a hundred. Actually, I just bought something for a hundred dollars a couple of days ago, and I'm hoping to to sell it for a little bit more than that. Do you have any interest in, in the hundred dollar program? I mean, is Why it not? is it a, well? It might be a, a crude. I guess I'd like to think that it's not really how much the art costs, it's the intrinsic value. And sometimes an emerging artist has great talent, and you, it's well worth a lot of dollars, and it's easy to find. So it just, as Jeff said, it takes a little more time. It's not as evident. You're not, you're not um, demeaning them by offering $100 for something, or what is it that you would offer $100 on from a, uh, you say, emerging artist, yeah, or just an, an artist? I mean, you're, you, of course, are professionals. But um, there are so many people who are making art, and so most of what they, so what, they, what they make, of the pretty little things that they make, the searching ones, the fresh ones, the new ones, the, the sketches on their napkins, which are going to waste. Absolutely. And because if you can figure out a way, yeah, get that, just, uh, you can open up the big ones to show me what you really got, you know, what, you really, what it ends up as, but the little stuff, if I was to collect just at $100, maybe buy a book or... But, uh, maybe you know. Maybe it's a hundred dollars a drawing yeah. and, a, and a drawing book. The most intimate things. Ten pages. That's a thousand dollars. Well, one of the things that we we happen to have a special taste for works on paper and works on well, this paper is tend theory. to be well undervalued. So, I mean, certainly more the American market. Yeah. Americans don't understand the same kind of works on paper. There's an intimacy and there's an availability in works on paper that you don't get in the oil painting. But it always doesn't always have the impact. You have to participate a little bit. That's reporting on the old line specialists here. And do me the favor of doing your names again. And they say, buy art. And I am. Cooley Gallery. I'm Jeff Cooley. And, and I'm Betsy Cooley. Betsy Cooley. Good. Reporting for Roger Smith News. <laughs>